<laughs> did you record the last one? I did. I did. Okay. I'll be good. I'll be. Let me try. All right. So, hi, everyone. I'm Ashley Monique. God, I can't do this. Okay. So, I'm Ashley Monique, owner of Ashley's Jimmy Tummy, uh, where you have one happy belly. Make sure you go to my, all my pages, my YouTube, um, Ashley's Jimmy Tummy, my Facebook page, uh, Ashley's Jimmy Tummy Catering, um, my Instagram, Ashley Monique 843. And go to my website, you can order sauces, and I'll also be adding like other things up there as well pretty soon. All right, so we have my lovely people here again. This is part two. This is uh, I've Know It's Podcast part two. <sighs> Sunday was amazing, it was really amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, uh, we have our special guest back, we have Whitney back, who um, is has a uh, what work, work you know, what I was looking at, Whitney. I was. I was wanting to put, I saw you said WWW, and I was thought it was Workout with Whitney, and I was, I'm was. i glad I went back to oh. the uh, flyer. It was like Workout with yeah. me, you know, and um, but yeah. we have her, we have her back, you know, as well. Thank you. And then we have Courtney, and we got Miss Kiki. So let's dive into this. The first thing we're going to do is the, uh, the first couple questions that we did not get to uh, on the last episode. Um, all right, so. <sighs> because I am dating, and I think we all may be conversing rather. I, I want to say conversing because it's hard to say dating and during this COVID time, you know. It's That's difficult safe to time, say. <laughs> you know? uh, even though that technology provides ways of dating, you know. All right, so my question was, Black men that give out their social media handle, like Snapchat, Instagram, um, whatever, Facebook, but most guys don't do Facebook because they can get caught up on Facebook. They rather do the Snapchat stuff. But like if they're interested in you, they'd be like, oh, yo, hit me up on uh Instagram or Snapchat. How do y'all feel about that? Like, do you take a guy serious when he say, uh, I'm interested in you. Like he approached you fine. Let's say he, he approached you respectfully. Like, hey, how you doing? I like beautiful smile. Snapchat. You know, here's our Snapchat. How do y'all feel about that? I um, when you were like grow up and everything else like that, I kind of like I'd rather you give out my social media, like my Instagram, <laughs> rather than my phone number, because it's easier to block you. Like. <laughs> 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 because okay so <laughs> for instance there was this one guy at my old job it was a couple months ago and he's still stalking me to this day because oh, he has my damn number just so his number. i did he's calling me for other phones and leaving me messages no he, he got a mental health issue that's See, what i i don't know but basically <laughs> like he was getting mad because i wasn't texting him back like right off the back like when he texted me he expected me to text him like right back and so I was like I'm in school I'm working full-time I was like I don't have time to sit there and just wait on the phone for me to text you back right there I was like I'm not gonna apologize for that either and I eventually stopped talking to him because I'm like you don't pay my phone bill like you <laughs> I don't it got, know why you it got, got that bad that you had to like chastise him like a child huh it got that bad that you had to chastise him like you know I, well I no, I didn't say all that I just basically said to the point I was just like I'm not gonna apologize for not being able to text you back in the manner that you want me to I'm like I'm sorry that I have a lot of stuff going on but that's just the facts of it and that's all I said but then he really wasn't nice. that, so I just ignored him I stopped talking to him but he kept calling me so I finally blocked his number and I blocked him on Instagram but he's calling me from other numbers and then leaving me messages. Granted, I don't answer numbers I don't know. That's just right, me. Right. Don't do it. But so, but he's like, he still calls me from other numbers or he'll call me blocked or he'll do stuff like that. So I kind of like giving out. And then I don't know if it's just a California thing, but I've noticed like everyone in California is like, what's your Instagram? What's your Snapchat? Like, that's how they communicate over here. Like, for real. <laughs> how do y'all feel about it? Like a guy, but he approaches you really nice. He's he's not like, yo, what's good, man? Like he's like, hi, beautiful smile. You know, I like the way you know. I but he's a guy do that to me in Walmart. I was in Walmart and I was just shopping, and he actually worked there. And I was going in and out just to get my groceries and stuff. You know, not trying to see nobody talk. Right, I was right. trying to get my food and go. 
and he was just following me around. You know how you could tell somebody like you you trying to get on the same aisle that I'm on. I go back to try to get my almond milk you back here too and everything oh yeah oh look so let me say something that would have been the mace that would have been flipping that top on that mace i'm like what you looking for <laughs> right and he finally he finally stopped me and like you said he was nice he was like um I, I i was just coming from working out but you know how guys do it's like oh you look nice i'm just like okay i really got my work out though for this gym like, he was well, like well, what did you have on i had on like gym clothes i had on like okay. gym shorts and like a you know, a long sleeve shirt or whatever. Okay. And he was just like, oh, he didn't even say what his name was. He was just like, oh, you look, you look he's like, you look nice today. And he was like, oh, okay, you from here? I'm like, no, I'm not from here. He's like, oh, okay. Um, I could tell he was either going to ask for my number or something. He was like, oh, okay. <laughs> he was like, um, follow me on Instagram. And I was like, honestly, I really don't get that a lot. Like most of the guys that I c- encounter, they, you know, either ask for my number, number right. or, you know, want, or want to give me theirs. So when he said something about Instagram, I was instantly annoyed because I'm like, one <laughs> after I already tell he was young. So I was like, this like how you what age me... range? Like anywhere from like what oh, 19 he was probably, to like 23? Yeah, he, yeah, he was 19, 21. Like oh. not two years off. Yeah. So I could tell he was definitely young. So when he said the Instagram thing, I was like, boy. I don't know. I don't like that. I understand what Courtney was saying, but like, I really don't like that because I don't even want you following me. Like, I don't even want you seeing what I got going on in my life. And I feel like that's sometimes I feel like that's why guys or even females too, like give people like their social media handles. They're like, I don't really want you like to have my number so we can uh, interact on a personal level. But you know, we can be social. You can see what I'm doing, you know, outside and how good I look and all this other stuff what I got going on. But I really don't like people in, like, even on Snapchat, I'm very cautious of who I add on Snapchat because, I don't know, I just don't want you in my daily life. Like, I just want people who I know or, you know, kind of know, associate with, but, I mean, it doesn't really bother me, but it's just kind of like... Well, I, I, I can say this, like, I tried to, like, it, my cousins literally had to make me get, like, an Instagram, like, and this was, like, what, 2016, or what it was, like, you really need to get on Instagram, because I don't like, I'm... I'm not as old, but like, I'm just like, I don't want to remember all these passwords. Like, honestly, like with jobs and stuff, you know how you have to change your password like every six months or every 90 days. I, it literally would be like Ashley one, Ashley two. Ashley oh my gosh, that is, not I, secure. That is not a secure password. <laughs> I mean, that was an example. Don't try to hack me because it ain't going to, oh, you know, <laughs> it ain't gonna, that's a fake pass. But that's just like, that's just like how I would do stuff. I would just be like, because I hate having to be like, sucker punch 18 on 30 like i hate <laughs> doing all those passwords but i i get what you're saying so yeah i get what yeah. Keisha, how you feel about it and oh i was gonna do one more like one oh, more okay. comment if they do snapchat then i i definitely know they own some sneaky stuff and if, if they like say follow me on snapchat because snapchat i mean honestly unless it's like people that you know know like some random people they just want to be sliding in your DM, sending stuff, and so it can disappear in 24 hours. Like, if they're not really friends with you and they give you your, their Snapchat, like, they own some other stuff. <laughs> I agree with that. I agree with that. I mean, I don't take nobody seriously until I know for sure, but if they give me their <laughs> Snapchat before they give me their Instagram, you kind of know. Yeah. Like, that's a, that's right, a good logic, yeah. though, because, like, that's how I feel like mm-hmm. when, when guys say they don't have Facebook, I'm like, Sneaky Emma Effer, because you know it's going to pop up on, on Facebook. Even if you like, not to get personal, but even if you don't personally, let's say for instance, like um, Kista don't have, Kiki doesn't have a Facebook. Like she just refuses to have it. But all three of us, we all four of us, we go out the Applebee's. You know, even though she doesn't have it, we can still type her name in on the picture. You know, and that's how you yeah. end up finding out guys got wives. Guys got a baby coming. They were just engaged. Like you were like, mm. mm-hmm. well, what you? How do you? A guy come up to you at a church conference and he says, you know, I want to uh, follow me on Snapchat. <laughs> now why <a> church? <laughs> right. That's all. Like why? Right. Because. <laughs> 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 okay so first and foremost i might not be nothing but uh to myself the age i finally turned 23 
uh Ashley, you you know, y'all know how old I really am, but <laughs> I'm still <laughs> but that's just for government wise that age. Now, <laughs> but you know, leave it to me, I'm 20, I just turned 23. Okay. Oh, but yeah. I'm a little old school. So I okay. agree, I agree, TJ. So cold. Facebook do get you caught up. That's why men be staying off of it. But uh that's so whatever, that's a, a high alert. Like I'm not, my ears perk up like I'm a puppy. As soon as he said, Oh, I don't I don't, I don't fool with Facebook. Why not? Well, there's a bunch of loyal people out there that don't do Facebook. He's, we not doing yeah, it. That's not, true. That go, is true. Nope, nope. Go ahead with you. <laughs> Courtney, Courtney we're going to jump on. <laughs> don't do this. I got too many experiences. You know what? Right. I know. I'm just saying there are, though. There are, there are some that's out there, though. And it, no, not all of them, Courtney. No, not all of them. Just I wasn't going to say nothing. Just not most of them. Just most of them. But, I'm old school though. So like it's okay. Social media to me, it's okay. I don't have an Instagram and don't plan on getting an Instagram. I don't plan on getting a Snapchat. Or our go to Clubhouse. Well, I got I got Snapchat or whatever the case may be. Um my niece introduced me to it. And then I was like, oh well, I was like, so this is like really private. It's not just the point that it's like private like that, but just the point of like I don't have to worry about somebody trying to take something and run with it or doing whatever unless you know, you know, I want them to see it because it's only your friends that's going to see it. Okay. And so I was okay with it. I was cool. But I am an old school person that I say we could change numbers because it either is going to be or it's not. Uh, it's either I'm going to block you or you're going to block me. Like one or two is going to happen or it's just going to be like this. Till it finish ringing. So <laughs> that's me. That's me. And then they'll trick me. They will get me good. They'll get a new them. number. They, yeah, but they'll space it out. Like if you call right back like a, from a different number, then I'm like, I know that's you. But when you I space that thing out like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, I'll like, probably be doing something. Hello? Hey, you ain't pick up. Oh, God. Oh, right, right. That's exactly <laughs> how I be. That's, I got, I got. Actually, somebody did me like that, and the only reason why I had to start answering numbers I don't know is because I'm the caregiver for my aunt, mm -hmm. and there's no telling who may be calling me. Right, right. So I have to answer now. So I answer, and I'm like, "Hello, this. Will you do?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Well, um." <laughs> and then I say the number to know not the answer the next time or whatever they try to call because my block list is probably about 50 miles long so I just got to the point now I just oh don't gosh. Ask. you know yeah. you know what it, it takes a lot for me to put a person on a block list like I, I just I'm weird I have like a you system. have for me yeah like yeah it has to like you have to like really do something for me to put you on a block list like super super serious but it could be still serious like you really get me upset but my thing be uh i don't know i, I like for a guy to know that did me that did something that i don't like i like for him to hear all the rings i want him to just literally sit there and hear every last ring then get into my voicemail and then, you know, people don't leave voicemails no more. Have y'all realized that? They don't leave voicemails no more. And that's yeah, they don't. Why, why I don't answer calls that I don't know, because if it was important, you would have left me a voicemail. And so, and I so. the same thing. And then, yeah. so they hang up, and then he'll call back again. And I, like he said, I look at it, I'm like, you done called five times already. I ain't picking up. So, and then you'll be like, well, why don't you just put them on the block list? No, I want them to sit there and listen to all those. Because so, putting them on the block list would just instantly go to the voicemail. No, I want you to sit there and listen to it. Like, think about what you did. Think about what you've been doing. <laughs> That's what I want you to do, you know. But, uh, but yeah, uh, as far as my my um, aspect of it, which the question, um, guys, is... Um, Black men that when they meet you, they may compliment you or whatever, but then they don't give you their phone number. They just give you their Instagram handle, you know, their, their Instagram handle, their Snapchat handle. I personally, I don't think that that is appropriate. I think the younger you are, you're probably fine with it, which I think, Courtney, I mean, not just because you're age, but I get that you don't want to give them your real number, but they have this app now where you can um get like create a fake number or whatever which i i know i know about apps and stuff like that but you know i also think it's like a, a regional thing too because like i've met different types of people here in california yeah 
and they all do it. They're like, what's your Instagram? What's your Snapchat? Right, they don't right. ask for numbers. Like, I don't know why, but maybe it's like- But you out there with superstars and stuff. You yeah, know? I was about to say that California is definitely probably different because, I mean, everybody popping over there. I mean, you can make something shake some kind of way. So everybody's- And they want to collab. Oh, so I can see how that could be. Yeah, I can see how that could be normal, like in California. That's true. I mean, it might, because I mean, I'm not in an area where you got like a whole, I'm, like, I'm more like an hour from like LA and all that stuff like that. But it's like, everybody wants to follow- But still, you know? California, period. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't like they, they can't afford to live in LA, but they'll be on the outskirts. Right, so they just get on their bus at their Uber, right. you know. But they do want the views and they do want to be seen and they want the likes and stuff like that. You know what? Speaking of that, um, I was, I was, um, I don't, well, I, we're all on social media, but uh, you know, they got the new challenge, the Bus It Challenge. You, you seen that? Yeah. I okay, that, so huh? I was like, I said, you know what? Like, if I really wanted to like catapult things in my life, I could go viral. All I gotta do is that. All I gotta do is get beat, get beat, put on a good wig. You was about to do a busted challenge, Ashley. And I would never, but I would never. I would. That's what I'm saying. I, like I like the. one. Did you see the Tracy Ellis Ross one where uh, she act like she was about oh, to do? I didn't it. know she did one. Oh, go watch it, girl. Oh yeah, I, I saw it when she when it was the other girl. She was like, mm 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 mm. Exactly. Go watch it right now. <laughs> it's on exactly. Instagram. So that's what I was like. I said, if I wanted to catapult things in my life, you know, go get a little viral sprinkle here and there, you know, I was like, all I gotta do is just do the damn busted challenge. Because first off, you know, they're gonna be like, oh my god, look at that girl, she's so yeah. You know? But I ain't doing that. I I'm fine. I got. I don't need. You know, that's the only challenge I actually thought about doing. Why are we not surprised? <laughs> I just watched it, y'all. I don't never do no challenges or nothing like that. <laughs> I don't never do anything that I've ever posted. If, if you if you don't want. The topic that we had the last time, which is dick pictures in your your inbox. I don't want to do see that problem right there. Just because don't I post it. something does not mean that. I'm okay with it. Should I expect it? Yes, but that does not mean I'm okay with it. Okay, everyone that's watching right now, ladies and most definitely men, have y'all do? Are y'all familiar with the busted challenge? Are y'all familiar? If you're familiar with the busted challenge drop a heart or whatever in the comment section or whatever but um uh, basically it's a song you can hashtag hashtag bus bus b-u-s-s-i-t challenge or whatever yeah. so google it real quick or whatever but basically it's where you look at rough you know and then the little nelly song come on and then all of a sudden it switches up the tempo the beat the instrumental drop and then when the girl drops down low mm -hmm. she's beautiful but she about, she's doing like the crybaby kind of sort of like, I know what, I know y'all Megan the style, your hotties or whatever. So it's kind of like that. Like she's rocking yeah. back and forth on like an <laughs> invisible yeah, eggplant or whatever. But there's cute ones though. Not the ones that- I Yeah, the ones where yeah, they don't you can do, do different it. things. With them. Yeah, you yeah. can. Yeah, because I was going to do one, but I wasn't, I wasn't going to worry. I was going to do like, I was going to make it funny. It's like a lot of people that's doing like different things. With challenge. Yeah, I, and, I wouldn't um, do a sexual one. I wouldn't do it. If I did mine, yeah. honestly, look, Von Baldwin, who be harassing me or whatever by his funny money team, his comedy crap. Von Baldwin, this is an opportunity. I'm about to give you an idea. Okay. If I was to do the busted challenge, right, I would be looking raggedy, you know, but I would get glammed up. And as I go to drop it down low, I'd be like, my big ass can't get up. And then you'd be trying, get, get <laughs> up, get up. You know, that would be funny. That would that go would viral. That would go super viral, you know, but, um, but yeah, so, but my, my opinion on it, I don't like guys that, um, give out their social media handle, uh, versus their phone number. Trust me. All I need is your first name, your last name and your nickname. I'm going to find your social media, baby. <laughs> I'm going to find the one that you don't want me to find, you know, the one where you, you know, and then on top of that, another uh -huh. thing, if you like smoking, you throwing up gang sign, don't, don't even talk to me. You know, I just, I ain't bailing nobody out. I ain't got no money to put on your books. You know, I'm just, that's just not for me, you know. But, uh, well, yeah, so the yeah. recap, mm -hmm. Courtney, are you okay with uh, a man giving you their social media handle? It's like a, a defense mechanism for you to where you're not really in my life. So if I want to get rid of you, poof, be gone. Exactly. Okay, Whitney, you grown. Don't come to you with that, you know, um, you rather not give me your phone number. Pista, 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Kista fully finished hers out. Kista. I did. That's why I was asking her to tell me what I said. Oh. <laughs> I think she told y'all. I yeah, because I, I think I think you said no. You don't want it. You're old school. Oh yeah, she did say old school. Old That's school. what it okay. was. All right, yeah. so so on men, the number men that are watching that are interested in these three beautiful women. Courtney's okay with it. These two ain't. Yeah. All right. So we're going on to the second <laughs> question. All right. So 